You've probably heard of ordinals, which are NFTs on the Bitcoin network, or possibly even altcoins on Bitcoin called BRC20s. And you've probably wondered, how do I get involved in this ecosystem as it is growing rapidly? Well, the first thing you're going to need to do is to set up a wallet that supports BRC20 and Ordinals. And I think the best one right now is Unisats. And in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how to get started with the Unisat wallet so you're ready to go for the Ordinals and BRC20 ecosystem. By the end of this video, I'll have you up and running and ready to start trading those Ordinals or possibly investing in some BRC20s. So let's go. All right, so to get started, we're going to need to come over to unisat.io, and I will have that linked in the description so you make sure you're getting the right link. And we're going to get started with the Unisat wallet, which is essentially like the MetaMask for BRC20s. If you want to make a comparison or analysis, it is a Web3 um, browser extension wallet. And so you're going to just come down here and you'll see you can download it from GitHub if you want it directly or from the Chrome store. But right now it is only on Chrome, so you won't be able to use it on Firefox or Opera or any of the other browsers. So just keep that in mind. You will need um, to have Chrome for this one. Um, but yeah, you can come here and you can see that they do have a bunch of business partners and development partners and a lot of good stuff going. Um, this is the reason why I did choose Unisats. There are a few other wallets and possibly I'll review some other ones in the future. But I think the one that's the most robust and has the most features right now is Unisat. And you can just see right here that it does store and transfer your Ordinals NFTs. Um, you can see confirmed NFTs immediately, 100% open source via GitHub. You can inscribe on the fly without running a full node. And you can store, mint, and transfer BRC20 tokens. So it basically does everything that we want to do. Um, so the first step, obviously, once you're here on this website, is just going to simply be click the link. And let's go ahead and get started by downloading that browser extension. It's going to bring you to this page right here. And we're going to just add to Chrome. And yes, we're going to confirm. Next thing you're going to want to do is click on this puzzle piece right here. And we just click the pin. And it's going to pin that wallet to our um, browser here so now it's always up there and available and that's basically it from this page we can go ahead and close this one down if you want and just um, you know come on back over to the other one it doesn't really matter what page you're on but I just like to get out of there um, so we go ahead and click here and you can either create a new wallet or import a seed if you already had a wallet and you're just installing it on a new browser or a new machine or something like that um, but for us obviously we're going to be creating a new one so let's go ahead and get started here let's just click that button and we're going to have to set up a password. This will lock our wallet so if somebody else happens to access our browser. They're not going to have access to our funds on this wallet without knowing the password. Just an extra level of security there. So go ahead and set up your password and then make sure you confirm it and click continue. So it's going to give you your wallet seed and you guys can see I have mine right here. I'm not going to actually use this wallet for anything, so don't try to like log in and steal my crypto, guys. Um, this is just for educational purposes. Obviously, I'll set up another one for real for later for future videos. Um, but essentially, what you need to do is to copy this to a clipboard. So you just click that and it's copied. And then you can paste it somewhere. I like to just use a notepad. So once we've pasted that into our notepad here, then we can click I've saved my secret recovery phrase and click continue stuff you don't have to confirm your seed phrase which is a little unusual for most browsers most of them do make you um, do that and we do also have optional passphrase here if you want to set that up so um, just consider doing that you can choose which one you want okay guys real quick i'm just going to go over the different address types so the og address type here is going to be legacy and you can see they mainly start with um, numbers here like a one something and these are going to be case sensitive so when you're copying your address you need to make sure you have the proper case on the address that you're copying or it's going to go to the wrong place 
the benefit of this is they are like the most OG. As I said, this is the original address type. And so it's the most compatible with all different types of um, Bitcoin applications. Now, the next one is going to be a nested SegWit. And these all start with three. These are a little bit improved upon the legacy. And they're going to be a little bit cheaper to send transactions. And it's also going to be case sensitive. So keep that in mind. Now, the third type is like the most recent one, and they all start with BC, and they are case insensitive. So they're all going to be in lower case, but it doesn't matter the case with these ones. And these are going to be the cheapest transactions because they are like the most updated version of a Bitcoin address. And then finally, we have the newest one that has just recently launched, which is the Taproot. And this is going to allow you to use... Um, essentially the ordinals and so it gives you a few extra functions there so just depending on what you want to do with your wallet um, will depend on how you want to set it up for me right now i'm just going to use the native segwit as it is the most like recent version without needing to actually do ordinals however it's up to you guys to change however you want Okay, so one thing we need to talk about is when you come to your settings here, you can see address type. You can click on this and change the address type. So if you want to send Bitcoin to your address, I do recommend the native SegWit. However, if you're going to want to inscribe ordinals, the best type of wallet you're going to want to use is Taproot. So if you need to switch, you're just going to come over to those settings, address type, click that, and now we have changed it to a Taproot style wallet here. Um, again, guys, it's super simple. Um, you just click on those settings, address type, and then we can obviously switch it right back if we needed to send and transfer Bitcoin again. So I did want to just mention that as that is a um, you know key thing you need to know if you're going to start inscribing ordinals yourself. You will need to be able to set up that taproot, and you can do it with the same wallet we already set up. You just change it. All right, so now I have compatibility tips. Please be aware that for ordinal assets, um, their cursed inscriptions and rare sats are not supported. And for atomical assets, non-ARC20 are not supported yet. So just click that so you understand and you're good to go. That's essentially all you need to do. You do now have your um, wallet address right here, which you could copy. You can view your history and it opens up an explorer on the mempool. Um, so here you can see that I have nothing going on with this address, but if you did, this is where you would view your transactions. And uh, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Um, you're now going to be able to do everything you could do. You have the atomicals, you have ordinals, um, and it's going to be essentially just like a MetaMask wallet here. This is the wallet. Um, we do have the uh, Explorer, so you can see what's going on on the network. A um, bunch of different stuff here. So um, you can see all the different marketplaces and different apps that you could use if you wanted. And then obviously the settings is going to be um, where you would, you know, come over and change your password or the network, any connected sites, anything like that. So very similar to um, the way a MetaMask wallet would work. And then obviously if you wanted to add a wallet, you could just click this if you want multiple wallets, maybe one to do your trading in and one for long-term storage, such as a vault or whatever. You have different investment strategies and you want to break them out like that. Um, but that's pretty much it, guys. It is nice and simple and easy to go ahead and get started. And we now have our browser-based wallet. All right, so now that our wallet's set up, we can come back to unisat.io and we can connect that wallet. And you can see here are some of the other wallets that are available. Phantom, BitGet, uh, OKX, uh, Leather, Xverse, and obviously the Unisat wallet, which is the one we just set up. So let's go ahead and click that. And it's gonna connect here. We're gonna have to sign that transaction to connect. And now we're gonna be able to actually trade here. So you can see the recent inscriptions. What we wanna do is come over to the marketplace and we can now see a bunch of different ordinals that we are able to um, purchase if we would like. And you can obviously view more to view all of them here on the network. And we do also have trending BRC20 tokens and we have trending names. So um, again, there's a lot of different stuff happening here over on the network. This is just the very early stages of ordinals and BRC 20s, but I just wanted to give you that quick guide how to set up the Unisat wallet. And now we can come over here and trade. So, all right, so now, but again, guys, feel free to browse through these and find something you like and go ahead and get started with your collection. I hope this video did help you in some way. If so, make sure you tap on that thumbs up button as it does help me get out to more people just like you. You can also sub to my channel as I do 
drop cryptocurrency videos every single week and make sure you're subbed to be notified as new videos drop if you want to chat with me get early access to what i'm working on make sure you join up my discord chat we still have a few vip lifetime membership available for free so if you're one of the first people to hop in we're giving those vip access away to the first 50 people and i got a lot of cool stuff planned here coming for the bull run so make sure you go ahead and jump in other than that we'll see you in the next video let's get that coin